play for keeps, Mr. Sits too, Mr. Kelly, Sally, Brittany. <clears throat> like, let me put it on your. <clears throat> Say, Didi Osama, Mr. Naughty, throw, throw, throw. You catch him, and you gotta blow. It's fake. After taking him off a song, Quickie 240. This is our 240 Quickie. Or. <clears throat> nah, I'm playing around. Yo, shout out Swayze TV. You know, I already reacted to the video from Demon Cam with the same situation. But niggas told me to tune into Swayze's. And I said, I got you. Nothing more to really say. He said he break it down better. And he get more in detail. So let's see what's going on. Let me be real with y'all. Let me ask you a question. Right now, I know what happened. Situation, you know, D-Play um, of Keats was removed off O's Let's Do It in replace of Inerly Chopper. Do you guys think that was like... Personally, who would you like to hear more? Deep Flavor Keeps or Inner Lee Chopper on that song? Who would you personally not know fan base, not know who got more clout, who got more money, nigga? Who would you like them to hear more on the song itself? I don't know. I want to hear Inner Lee, but I personally was leaning more like I kind of did want to hear Deep Flavor Keeps more. But, you know, I don't know. Personally, I really don't care, but I do care, but I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, work. Yeah, I mean, got them city in the Batmobile, even though it get crazy, because I'm talking like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and mm. I'm gonna make this a quick video. It's just some water. I'm seeing other YouTubers' commentary on this, and I feel like an old head needs to step in and let y'all know sir. what's really going on. Now, if you're not aware, it looks like the Coco Felons from Sugar Hill is going through some infighting, a little kerfuffle. To say the yes, least. Sir. And it's all because Didi Osama's label made him do a song with NLE Chopper. Now, if you're not aware, Didi Osama has a song called O's oh, Let's, Let's Do, do it. it featuring D Play for Keeps and Sugar Hill D. Oh, he got my nigga Sugar Hill D. Dot? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I did not know D. Dot. I thought it was just Pearly, Didi Osama, and um, D Play for Keeps. Osama just previewed a snippet with him and NLE Chopper, and it seems like they took. D plays for keeps verse off the song and replaced it. I'm sorry. Shout out Sugar and D Dot. But if I had to be real with you, I kind of would have put you. I thought they would have replaced D Dot before it. D play for keeps. Even though I know D Dot kind of do got more, you know, more. But I thought, I don't know. I kind of like D play for keeps more than D Dot and DD or something, in my opinion. But you know, we're. With NLE Chopper's verse. Oh, no. So you already know what happened oh, after that. People's panties got all up in a bunch and they was not feeling this at all. For example, sure. when D Play For Keeps said this, stop jacking my shit for fame or clout. If you ain't fully committed to this, my brother died for this. Free the originals. I can't wait till it's my turn. 100. This my shit. And D wrong when he bugging. Yeah, I. Right. And after that, some other side characters had something to say about DD taking them off the song. But I'm going to tell it to y'all just like this. Everybody's saying, yo, DD Osama's fake for taking him off. Nah, yo. He I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't think that nigga fake. Like, not like that. Hear me out. I can't call bro fake because of the situation. Like one, from a point of view as a, a making it point of view, I feel like he should do that because you know, it would, I got two points of views on this. One point of view of it's Italy Chopper. He's going to get numbers. So he should do it. Definitely. He'll get in the lead fan base with him. I think he should do it. But my other point of view is always let's do it. Nigga, that's for you gonna make an O's. Let's do it. That's supposed to be for the O's, nigga. Now, Inerly for the O's. I think him and Inerly should just make a whole separate song. You know what I mean? That's how I felt about it. But you know, personally, I don't really care. Let the fame get to his head, yo. He really let the fame get to his head, yo. And this, that, and the third, you know. And my thing is this: Do you guys really think that Didi Osama has full control on what he does with his no. projects? Like, seriously, this right here is a label move. Here you have Didi Osama, the Justin Bieber of the towns, and on the other end, you have NLE Chopper, who's an established artist, which gives him credibility. 
and Didi is hot right now. If NLE Chopper gets a feature with him, his career could possibly go back up. It's a win-win situation for yeah, the labels. For both of them. I don't think Didi had anything to do with it. I think his label sat there and said to him, "All right, yo, bro, yo, we got we we got a um NLE Chopper feature. Do you do you have any songs that you think that you know?" He, he could be on. And Didi and his team was probably looking through songs, looking through songs, looking through songs. They probably came back to the label like, yo, nah, nah, we, we really don't got no empty songs. We could just make a new song. And they sat there was like, making a new song? That's a little expensive. Um, <clears throat> let, Let's see your catalog real quick. They looking through the shit, looking through the shit. Yo, what is what is this Um, O's Let's... This nigga Swayze telling us a full life story about what happened. I ain't lying though. I kind of could see that personally. Like, personally, from a point of view, now that I look at it, I kind of think it was more of a way label push. And I do understand he is the artist, so you know, or, but you know, or from a point of view, it would help his career. Personally, in my opinion, I think making this song in the Lee Chopper would it won't like throw his career on a new level, but it will kind of help it too. Same way with I Spy, same way with Koi Le- No, it's not Koi- I Spy. I mean Koi Ray. It kind of it, it gives it another little push on the back to help you some more. You know what I mean? Like you personally cannot go wrong with making a song with Indeli Chopper. Like, I literally cannot see how you could go wrong with making a song with Bro. I don't know. Real quick, they looking through the shit, looking through the shit. Yo, what is what is this? Um, O's let's do it. What is what is this? O's let's do it. And who who is this guy? D play for keeps. And I'm sure D D was over there like, yo, that's my man, yo, that's my people. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, that's my people. That's that's our song. You know what I'm saying? That's our people's. They yo, the label probably sat there and said to them, "Okay, um, Sugar Hill D Dot is on this, and that makes sense. But this D play for keeps does not have a presence on the internet yet. Yeah. How about we take him out and rip?" That's what I said though. Like from a point of view of being personal, I like D play for keeps more. But from a point of view of being real, D Dot and D play D D both got more. You know, more eyes on them right now instead of D-Play for Keats. Who knows? D-Play for Keats, time might be coming real soon. Just right now at this moment, them two got more eyes on them than you were. Replace him with NLE Chopper. Bro, I'm sure he made a protest. He was probably like, nah, bro, don't take D-Play for the Keeps off of it. But, bro, at the end of the day, it's the label's choice. It's what they want to do. They signed him. And to keep it a buck with you, it makes sense. Look at the numbers. Sugar Hill D-Dot literally just went sneaker shopping with cool kicks and it got like 70k views within 14 hours look at d plays for keeps last upload it got 9k in two weeks damn i'm not trying to be funny bro yeah. But just, like, damn yeah. yeah hey that's what i damn 9k yeah i can see that i i understand and that's what i just said like you know from right now at a point of view <clears throat> right now at this exact moment them two right there got way more clout. Not clout. I didn't want to say clout, but got more eyes on them instead of deep play for keys. And who knows? Like I say, never know. Nigga, tomorrow we might wake up and deep play for keys might, you know, work. You know what let's, I mean? Let's be real here. If you're a label and you're looking for an empty spot that you could put in an artist that's already established and you have the choice to replace either D Play for Keeps or Sugar Hill D Dot, what choice are you about to make? D Play for Keeps. What are you about to make? I'm gonna be I real understand. With you. O's, let's do it. Yo, and then Lee ain't even O's. I, bro, I get it. I understand. But the fact that these little niggas jumped out the window and started saying that DD is fake and this, yeah, that, and, her, and yo, he changed. I, I ain't really understand the point of view. Like, fuck, I can't talk right now. The point of view of calling it fake because I ain't really see it like fake. Like, it's different. He did some shit like, I don't know, like maybe some shit like, I don't know. I literally cannot think of like, a, like what he could have did that could have been so fake. Like, if he did some crazy shit, then maybe. But this situation, nah. And yo, woo, woo, this down the third, just because he took D play for keeps off of a song, it shows they true colors. Mm -hmm. Didi, I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Don't let the crabs pull you back down mm -hmm. the barrel, bro. Don't let them do that. Didi's been putting on for Sugar Hill this whole time. Rather yeah. you like it or, or not, not, this kid is the Real Justin shit. Bieber of the town. Hell yeah. There's no denying that. Drake flew them out. 
I reported mm. on it. That little nigga is putting on for Sugar Hill more than anybody else out there. Niggas put the up for Harlem. And this is how you repay him. Oh, yeah. Didi, understand what niggas is doing is showing their true colors, bro. You did all of this for them. But all it took was for you to take D play for keeps off of Like they say, you could do a hundred things for somebody. Do one bad thing, they'll forget about all of that shit. And I, from a point of view, I know I'm talking a lot, but you know, I'm trying to drag this video out, but um, if you a real nigga and that's your mans, you would be like, damn, bro. Maybe, you know, you would not say you got a hundred percent support and hold this nigga hand, but you'd be like, oh, okay, I understand. Like, nigga, that's Italy Chopper. That's the NLE chopper. Okay, I understand. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Sometimes you just gotta suck that shit up and be like, you're right. It's good. Keep it pushing. Because DD doing numbers, it brings more attention to OY. And if it brings more attention to OY, it brings more attention to you. And all of you guys. All of the mans. You know what I mean? Like, prime example. When DD hop on a song, the song could be ass and they'll still do numbers just because that nigga name alone. You like it or not, that's real shit. Of a song for them to say that you fake, you ain't real, and you let the fame get to your head. Bro, understand what you're seeing right now? It's true colors. All right? I know you a little nigga, but look, look, look. Go look it up on YouTube right now. I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors. And that's why you're a dub. So don't be afraid to let them cut. I don't know what song this nigga singing, but. Or, I see your, your true, true colors. colors. That's what they doing, bro. Ah, fuck. They showing their true colors. All it though. took was for you to take D play for keeps off of a song, and they jumped out the window. If I was you, Didi Osama, I would give them niggas a week and a half to apologize, or I'll leave them where they at. I'll leave them exactly where they at. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. From, all right, let me speak a couple shit how I feel about this situation. One, I feel like as a nigga, like, if I was in deep play for keep shoes, me, I feel like I would hit up DD on the low, you know, talk that shit out a little bit. But come to an agreement to understand that, yes, it, it was kind of a little crazy to take me off a song, but I understand because that's the Lee Chopper, nigga. Who the fuck's going to turn out Lee Chopper? Two, nigga, DD Osama puts on oh why? I'm sorry right now, but right now at this exact moment, you will be lying if you say Didi Osama is not the face of OY. That's being real. And personally, and that's being real, like, on some real shit, he is. As much as I kind of don't, you know, in my opinion, I still go with Eat Out Baby. Eat Out Baby, Move Look, or Tech, in my opinion, still the face of OY. But from a numbers point of view, Didi is. Like, numbers, fans, fucking, holy shit. This nigga fan base is so fucking, this nigga is the other Justin Bieber. Niggas a light skinned Justin Bieber. But on some real shit though, you know, one, I feel like they should have kept this like, this could have been kept off the internet. Like, niggas ain't had it like, and I understand that the fans are going to take this shit to the internet. They want to hear niggas' responses. But just because the fans do that shit doesn't mean you got to respond to them in negative, like in a negative way. You could have said some shit like, oh shit, nah, bro, this ain't nothing more than, you know, some, you know, calm sh You know, I don't know. You could have just said anything. Instead of saying niggas fake and boom, 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 and yes, this, that, and I don't know. It's a lot of shit. It's one of the situations that I feel like is you could look at both point of views but and understand both point of views. So, you know what I mean? But y'all show some love. Tell me down below. What do you think about this shit? You agree with Didi Osama? And even, I, it ain't really nothing with him, but do you agree with, like, them taking that nigga D-Play for Keeps off? Or do you understand what D-Play for Keeps coming off and why he's so mad? I understand both point of views. You know what I mean? But y'all should love. Do what you do. More videos come to me. You keep watching because I'm going to drop you. You ain't right. You ain't right. You ain't right. You left in the dust. We on to the next video, bro.